the Belgium La Fevere in the white. Lovely rollover, some wonderful wee wazza there from Zagrovnik. And almost a win quite swiftly, but just manage to survive that. The Feverick will have a, a real surprise and a little bit apprehensive now in going down into that knee wazza, so a little bit wary there. So just two minutes and 42 seconds, a very, very close match indeed. Lovely dropsy and Aggie there from this young man from Poland. Very difficult to say which way this match will go. Both very determined for a place in the final. The winner of this will meet Colin Oates from Great Britain. Tomanagi again, nicely controlled. So one minute and 43 seconds left in this match. Very, very difficult to tell which way this is going to go. Both desperately working hard for that place in the final. Evenly matched. Neither one of them really pushing or driving further than the other. 
you've just joined us, I'm Loretta Doyle on behalf of the European Judo Union. Welcome to Glasgow for the Glasgow European Open here in the Emirates Arena. The stadium that will be hosting the Commonwealth Games in 2014. Ninety athletes will be competing over two days here in Glasgow, representing 24 countries. So just over 30 seconds, a half a minute left. Ashido now just being given to Poland. So this slightly edges it for the young men from Belgium. Up until now, it's been very, very close indeed. Oh, and a lovely drop, seeing Aggie there. So it's Grotnik really trying to come back. Eight seconds to go, and he knows with that Shido on the board, if he doesn't get a score or equal it up, he's out of the final. The Fevere goes into the final of this men's 66 kilo category. So Grotnik goes into the bronze medal final. And we'll be seeing them later on. So a very hard fought. Match there. Very, very close indeed. Couldn't tear them apart as far as 